Welcome back everyone. Apple just pushed out the ProRes video update for our iPhone 13 Pros. So if you want to go ahead and enable it, this is how to do it. I will tell you, if you don't know what you're doing, then I wouldn't recommend enabling it. It takes up a lot of storage. And although the quality is higher, there's really no point for the average person to go and do this. To be completely honest, I don't even plan on doing it. So here's how to do it if you want to do it. <laughs> the first thing you want to do is you want to hop inside of your settings application and you want to make sure you're on iOS 15.1. If you are not on iOS 15.1, this is not going to work. So you want to make sure you're on 15.1 or newer, and you should be able to do this. So if you're already there, all you have to do is come back into your settings panel just like this. You want to scroll down until you find camera. So you want to keep scrolling until you find this little camera toggle right here. You want to go ahead and click on it. And when you do that, you'll come into this panel. Now all you have to do is find that record video toggle. So all you have to do is go and click on the formats toggle, which is at the top. So you can go and click on formats right here. And when you do that, you'll come into this little panel. Now, all you have to do here is pretty much scroll down until you see Apple ProRes. So it should be right here. So now all you have to do is kind of read this through. I will be completely honest. You'll probably be in a better situation if you just read this through and understand what totally what's going on. So all you have to do is go and turn on Apple ProRes like this. So now all you have to do is make your way over back into the camera application. So come to the camera app like this and you want to go into video. So when you do that, you'll see a couple of different options. Everything will probably look familiar, but at the very top, you will now see this pro raw option. So now if you want to make your video into pro raw, you can go ahead and pretty much click right there and it'll go convert that video over to this pro raw, you know, and it'll convert that video over to Pro Raw. Now you can see it'll tell you your max time. So I can only record 54 minutes of you know Pro Raw video on this specific device. Now if I were to change this resolution, I'm sure it'll go and change. It says Pro Raw is not supported. So because my device is only at 128 gigs, I can only do HD video. I cannot do 4K at all, which is totally okay. So if I click OK, I can go and convert back to Pro Raw, but I have to convert this back to HD. So if I want to do it, I can only be on HD. If I had a 256 or higher iPhone or 512, it would have been a little bit of a different story. But that's pretty much how to do it. Again, I probably want to recommend anyone to do this unless you know what you're doing. But that's if you want to do it, that's how you do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.